Welcome, fellow prospectors, to a new edition of the Southwest Desert Podcast. I am your host, Alan. In this revealing episode, we'll be venturing into the rugged San Gabriel Mountains, just a stone's throw from Los Angeles, to uncover the riveting tales and enduring mysteries around the gold buried deep in San Gabriel Canyon. Now, you might know this area for its great fishing, camping, and hiking, and with gorgeous pine forests and bubbling trout streams, it certainly doesn't disappoint on the outdoor front. But beyond the scenic beauty lies a hidden history, dating back centuries of people obsessed with the golden treasures locked within these canyon walls. It wasn't until the mid-1800s, though, when the California gold rush was in full swing, that prospectors arrived in droves seeking instant wealth. Within a few short years, a massive mining town named El Doradoville sprang up, packed with about 2,000 people. Life in El Doradoville was a wild mix of rowdy saloons, pop-up shops, diverse settlers from all walks of life, and non-stop work in the mines. But danger lurked around every corner, from deadly floods to violent squabbles over claims. From this period, tales of gold discoveries abound. And yet, the biggest treasure of all remains undiscovered. Legend tells of a secret mother lode, a massive vein of incredibly rich gold hidden somewhere in the canyon walls. This has lured generations of prospectors who continue the hunt to this day. In this intriguing episode, we'll dig into the specifics around the lost mines, mysterious maps, and colorful characters connected to San Gabriel Canyon's buried treasures. All right, let's dive right into the murky history and legend around San Gabriel Canyon's lost gold. Now, pinning down exactly when gold was first discovered here is tricky, but there are some tantalizing clues. The story begins with the Shoshone, who were the first inhabitants of this canyon. In their riverside village of Asuksagna, which later became part of Azusa. They crafted tools, jewelry, and art from the gold found here. Arrowheads, mortars, and other artifacts proved they had settlements near the canyon mouth. We can still see signs of the Shoshone today in ancient artifacts and mysterious rock carvings scattered throughout the canyon. Intriguingly, when the Shoshone first visited the San Gabriel Mission, they brought gold trinkets with them. This suggests they knew of the precious metal in the local canyons. Even more intriguing are the persistent rumors of Spanish expeditions setting out to explore the San Gabriel Canyon in the 1770s around the time the mission was built. Though unproven, it hints at very early gold discoveries that predate the Gold Rush era. But we have solid evidence that full-scale mining was underway in the canyon by 1855, and get this, in just 15 years, an estimated $12 million in gold was pulled out. Hard to fathom how much lies buried beyond reach. To house the hordes who flocked here, a ramshackle town arose along the east fork of the San Gabriel River. Christened El Doradoville, it was a typical mining boom town, rowdy, crudely built, but absolutely bursting with optimistic fortune seekers. At its peak, El Doradoville had 1,600 to 2,000 residents. Miners came from all backgrounds, American settlers, Mexicans, Chinese immigrants, and native Shoshone. Life was tough, but the promise of riches trumped all. They tunneled relentlessly, blasted away at rock walls, and washed countless pans along the riverbanks. But one fateful winter day, disaster struck. On January 18, 1862, a massive flood ravaged the canyon. It decimated El Doradoville, tossing boulders and demolishing everything in its path. Though many rebuilt and returned to mining, this flood marked the beginning of the end. Now, El Doradoville itself may be gone without a trace, but signs of those lucrative mining efforts remain. Extensive tunnels, scarred cliffs, and excavated ridges testify to just how thoroughly they combed these canyon walls. Some tunnels cut deep, stretching hundreds of feet into the earth. 
Others are partially collapsed, barred by rock falls. While fascinating to see, do not enter these unstable shafts. No amount of lost gold is worth that risk. Instead, retrace the footsteps of those fortune-seeking 49ers along the trails and ravines where the town once stood. Imagine the chaos of El Doradoville during its heyday, fueled by gold fever. All right, now for the fun part, the lost mines and buried treasures. Here are some of the tales and legends around San Gabriel Canyon's secret riches. First is the story of Old Man Hardy, passed down directly from the daughter of a 19th century canyon rancher. Hardy was an English miner who supposedly located an insanely rich load of gold-bearing green slate, but its location died with him. Here's how the story goes. Once a year, Hardy would return to mine this hidden load, which the family called the Green Slate Ledge. He'd take the rancher's young son as a guide, but never let him come close to the source. After mining for two weeks, he'd return with enough gold to live off for a year. On his last trip, Hardy was murdered in his cabin, taking the secret location to his grave. Somewhere out there beneath the pines and granite cliffs could sit a gold-laden green slate deposit just waiting to be rediscovered. Then there's the tale of Luciano, a local Shoshone man not known for hard work. Yet somehow, he never lacked cash. Prospectors noticed his odd habit of disappearing up canyon just when his supply of tobacco and whiskey ran low. Two or three days later, he'd return from the direction of Iron Mountain with ample gold to fund his sloth for months. Try as they might, no one could trace Luciano to the source. The sly old codger died without revealing his personal mother load. And Luciano wasn't alone in his uncanny ability to routinely uncover riches. Whispers tell of other native people frequently turning up gold from places unknown to the white settlers. Could it be ancestral knowledge of rich loads passed down within the tribes? Some even believe the Shoshone know the true location of the legendary mother load that birthed all of San Gabriel Canyon's gold. But for now, it remains their fiercely guarded secret. All right, last tale of lost fortunes, a puzzling map and ominous warning. In the late 1800s, an apprehensive miner handed a crudely drawn map to a young boy from El Doradoville. It marked a remote canyon mine of untold riches, but the miner refused to go himself. Why? Because for years he'd had a recurring nightmare of being trapped and killed in a mine collapse if he dug any deeper into that hillside. So he entrusted the map to the boy, urging him to wait until he was older and gather help to excavate the site. But before the boy came of age, the map was lost. And ever since, the forbidden mine of the old man's dreams has haunted modern prospectors. Somewhere it remains concealed, awaiting the day its staggering wealth gets unearthed. Now, whether these stories ring true or not, the pool of undiscovered gold persists. On any given weekend, you'll find packs of prospectors scouring the canyon, panning along creek beds and examining ridges for signs of glittering quartz. The dream lives on, and who knows, maybe the next amateur gold hunter will uncover a huge golden nugget or find a trace of that elusive mother load. It could still be out there waiting, so keep those eyes peeled. And with those tantalizing possibilities, our epic Lost Gold podcast draws to a close. A huge thanks for joining me on this wild ride through San Gabriel Canyon's riveting history and enduring mysteries. Now. Before you grab your trusty pan and compass to start sleuthing, let me remind you to be smart and safe out there. Trails wash out, tunnels collapse, and snakes abound. So exercise caution during your canyon adventures. If you're aiming to pan for gold yourself, get tips from the experts first. Places like the Williams Camp Restaurant rent equipment and give pointers to novice prospectors. However you choose to chase the golden legends, I hope this podcast stirs your sense of adventure. Even without bags of gold nuggets, time spent outdoors forging new trails awakens our spirits. 
The lost fortunes of San Gabriel Canyon have claimed lives, fueled myths, and lured endless optimists for over a century. Their enduring allure pays testament to just how deeply that spark of discovery lives within us all. So, fellow prospectors, here's to new horizons and treasures waiting to be found. This is Alan signing off. Come back next time as we uncover the secrets hidden within our world's wild places and the compelling stories behind them.